money. The idea for the Entrepreneurship Club came when um, we decided that we, we wanted to have a club that um, would obviously get entrepreneurial minded students together and the purpose of the club was for the traditional things, to get students in a room for networking, for uh, sharing ideas and that sort of thing. We named ourselves The Firm. The reason the club came about is because there was a kind of a missing gap between all the students here and I wanted to try to find a way to bring students together on a, from a career perspective. Uh, I myself want to start a business but I, but I needed other things like graphic design, web design, um, accounting, some business principles and I wanted to be able to reach out to those students who had those skill sets and I found quickly that I wasn't able to, uh, to reach out to those students. So I wanted to create a forum where we could reach out and maybe bring different uh, educational talents together uh, for students who, you know, to interact. So we can network today instead of waiting until we graduate. We can take what we learn today and start using it today. So once the idea for the student-run business was conceived, we, we had to think what, what would work. And recognizing the transient nature of the community college student, we knew that kind of an eight-hour day uh, operation probably wouldn't work. So we had to come up with something that uh, that would work for um, our students as well as the business. Um, one of the ideas uh, somebody had come up with was we have 12,000 students here on campus. We thought it was odd that of all these students nobody ever typically wears anything that says Bunker Hill on it. Our school store does have um, some small offerings in terms of uh, apparel and college jeans uh, merchandise. Yet, we saw a niche that we could create a student-run business on campus that would sell Bunker Hill-type uh, merchandise, that, um, and this would be done through a mobile kiosk. I initially had the students focus on really just the four Ps, the marketing mix for the business. I figured that would be a good foundation for them to start creating the business. For example, product. Um, we, we wanted it to be student-inspired and student-designed. Um, which it is. We are in the process of uh, coming up with at least about a dozen designs. Some might be diversity, some might be sustainability, um, those sorts of things. Uh, and product in terms of what kind of product? Is it only t-shirts? Is it apparel? Is it merchandise? Um, backpacks, mouse pads, that sort of thing. One of our first projects which is launching the business. So we're collecting designs from students, we're working with the, the bookstore to, to produce the t-shirts that we're going to be uh, selling on our kiosk. We're actually working on a developed kiosk. And I'll go back to one of the most important things is that we also want to make sure that the, the products that we are developing are, you know, are sustainable products. These are things that are from like reclaimed cottons or recycled materials or repurposed materials. We want to try to keep the focus on sustainability while we're developing this business. We have a whole week of events available on Entrepreneurship Week if you're interested in starting a business. That's pretty cool because yeah, I am a business major. Yeah. And then at the mini trade show, we have students right now in studying who also have their business. So come by and see them. And we have the firm. It's a student run business right here on campus where you can buy great t shirts that the students have designed. So this is the place to be if you're interested in starting your own business. I'm Dominica Warborn, Vice President of Entrepreneurship Club, and this is Ethan, he has his new Root Rush, Root Rush, Zona Patent and Design. Yeah, this is the next step beyond just beer pong to get to the next level. About five years in the making. My father's an architect, so he helped me with some of the design, but it's all my. So it's a prototype. Yeah, no, that's fine. No, time. you just gotta do it before me. Oh, okay. I'll give you a head start. Go ahead. I wasn't expecting it. That's huge. I mean, like, buzz over there. Yeah. I think it has, you know, some real potential. Probably. Yeah. Okay, we're launching a retail store in the, in the school. All, all created, all products created by uh, by students. Or well, you can do it digitally if you want. Yeah, you can use my computer. I thought it was odd that of all these students know the other day that he wears a uh, 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 school store does have uh, 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 
We're very excited to be here and talk about sustainability with all our small companies and to share with our experience what our projects are in school and our short and long run goals. Born. I'm at Bunker Hill Community College. I'm vice president of the Entrepreneurship Club and um, we're here at the Sustainability Conference at Bunker Hill um, doing opening our first student-run business at a kiosk. This bag right here is made from 8 to 10 plastic water bottles. It um, helps support the fact that we need to not use landfills as much. It uses our resources more wisely so that we are implementing the fact that we want sustainability on campus. That's one of our main goals and I think it's really important that we continue that through our products. Hi, I'm Gail, I'm from Entrepreneurship Club. I'm going to show you a really cool product. This is a refillable no notebook where you can refill all the papers. So this is a really cool product. We have our own logo on it. And if you would like to know the price, we'll be more than happy to see you come visiting us. Bunker Hill students to the grand opening of the Entrepreneurship Club. Here is our merchandise. We're selling t-shirts to sustainable notebooks, recyclable notebooks. T-shirts go for $10. Notebooks range from $5 to $8. We sell hats for $15. And, uh, we've got lots of designs here. Pretty catchy.
volunteer. Who, who's here at night? Anybody here past 6 o'clock? Don't hand them out unless you say something. <laughs> code on there. Um, and passing those out to the 13,000 students. We need some people to volunteer. All writers at all. We want to try to put together with the uh, Stage and Screen Club and Writers Block. Your business, you can put your idea on there and they give you 28 days. You say, I need this amount of money by this time and they basically people who just want to donate their money to cool things come on and invest their money. These entrepreneurs as they are take the reins and, and operate this club as they see fit.